there, this is Tyler from TogTech doing a review of the Spider Pro holster. And for the camera, I'm just using a 10D. The 5Ds are in use on the camera, in use on the video. And uh, right now it's a 1635 lens and 550 flash to give you an idea of size. Uh, first impressions of the belt are really good, it's really well made. Uh, the buckle is oversized uh, typical clip buckle but it has an extra uh, button here so if you just push in the size that's not going to open it you have to press in this third one as well so that's nice to have a little extra security uh, using the holster there is uh, a little latch here to when your camera is in the holster and uh, the latch is engaged which it is now then you can't bring it up and to unlock it, you just push it up halfway and then you can slide your camera out. And putting it in, you just slide it down. You don't have to unlock anything. Uh, but you can, however, put it in disengaged mode and then you can just slide it in and out without any locks. Even when it's no locks are engaged, it's pretty secure. You can jump. And I tried, I tried earlier to see if I could jump the camera out and if I tried really hard, I could jump it out. But if you're doing regular things, even running from spot to spot, it's not going to come out. If you look, if, if it's tipped, even at this angle, you can't pull it up. It has to be almost perpendicular to your body and then it can slide up. So it is quite secure in there. Um, it's made out of stainless steel and has a nice wide opening so it's pretty easy to hit the holster. And also on here is the spider plate, which is on the bottom. And this you attach with this little nicely well thought out holder here for an Allen wrench. And the reason you want the spider plate on, you could also attach this little pin to the middle of the camera. But then the camera hangs sort of at an awkward angle because the pin comes up right here. So it ends up hanging about like this. Or you could hang it like this with the lens straight out if the pin is here. But with the spider plate, you can make it hang down and the lens is more straight against your body. So the plate is something you want. Also if you're shooting in uh, portrait mode and you have a grip on here and you're grabbing like this, the pin will be sort of in the middle of your palm. So it's nice to get it on the side and then you can, it'll be between your fingers. Um, if you have the RC4 plate, Another reason you want this spider plate is so you can also attach your tripod to the bottom of your camera. I have the RC4 quick release plate from Manfrotto and it's a little large so it doesn't totally work but it does work. Uh, if you put it on straight it sticks out a little bit from your camera from the back which is survivable but if you put it straight parallel with your camera it gets a little tight and just slide in here. Uh, it works, you can see that it goes down nice. It's, uh, well, it's pretty close now. If you were to put it straight on, it would get a little tight here. So it works, and uh, this plates are just so large. With the RC2 plates, it would work even better and not get in the way, and then sitting on the tripod isn't a problem. One other nice little use I thought for the, if you have an extra pin, these pins can be had for $8 from the website. All these parts, that's another nice thing about the belt, is you can buy everything individually. You can buy an extra plate, an extra pin, an extra holster, and an extra holster pad if you want to put another one on the left side. The belt is made so you can do that. And so if you get another pin, and you can stick it on a second lens, And you should tighten it, of course. And then the belt you can also use as an extra lens holder. So if you have, oh, I'll just put this pin away, and it's a nice little holder. All right, so here's a heavier setup: the 7200 now, and the flash still, and Pendy. You can see how that hangs because it has a spider plate on the bottom. Uh, it still hangs nice and straight down and you can still run around with this and feel secure and it's easy to get in and out 
And on the belt, one thing I didn't cover before is this strap here is made out of extremely thick uh, Velcro that you generally find on an ambulance stretcher board, I feel that's sort of that heavy duty. So the strap isn't going to come undone and it's comfortable because it's so thick. Just overall, it feels like a well-made secure product. So uh, check it out if you find yourself getting strangled in your camera straps or get tired carrying a camera. And uh, considering how well it's made, I think it is a good buy and how much uh, camera strap tangling it'll uh, relieve you of. And just getting the camera away from your neck and your shoulders uh, would free up a lot of movement and uh, a lot more comfortable to have it on your hips and not strangling around you, especially if you're wearing a backpack and a strap and a strap. So the Tog Tech rating is two thumbs up. I've added it to my camera bag. Uh, check it out if you think it would be useful. And thanks for watching the review.